one of the areas is podiatry. So, and basically using FitStation by HP, it can really provide more data than that industry has ever had, which will revolutionize how the industry takes care of their feet or how people take care of their feet. But from a, a, a consumer standpoint, there's going to be a way for uh, individuals to figure out what the best insole is for them or what the best running shoe or boot is for them, work boot is for them. And how will this make it into the marketplace, the consumer marketplace? It's already installed in stores here in the U.S. Uh, we're expanding to uh, Europe and Asia uh, this year. Uh, and uh, you'll also see this now in North American uh, um, clinics and doctor's offices that are focused on podiatry and, and sports medicine. Mm -hmm. What's the advantage over the traditional or current method of, uh, of forming orthotics? <laughs> Well, orthotics manufacturing hasn't changed in more than 60 years. And they still use today the foam box where you put your foot in the foam box, you get a mold, then you actually wrap that and, and use plaster to make a mold. All of that then, when you make the, the orthotic, is thrown away, which means that goes to the, you know, the lack of having a green product. This product, the 3D scanning, 3D manufacturing, is actually revolutionizing you know, the, the, the green element of, of this market because none of that, all of that is reusable or recyclable. None of it goes to landfill. This is based on the person's actual gait, the, uh, the function of the foot? Individual foot. So not just the person's foot, their left foot, their right foot. So if you think about this, there should not be a size 10. There should be a size Scott. There should be a size Sarah. There should be a size Jim. Not a size nine and a half, ten and a half. Can it be done uh, cost competitively to the existing orthotics, or because it's a custom product, it's much, it's a premium. So this market is just beginning, and so over time, I think you're going to see where it will be very competitive. Right now, we're still in the startup for orthotics. Uh, how will it affect the way uh, shoes are crafted, like uh, Birkenstocks? The way the shoes are? The way that shoes are crafted. Can you custom craft shoes based on a, a footprint? Oh, I, ultimately what you're going to do is want 3D printed shoes, okay? And so, and that will be based on exactly what you need for your foot, what your foot wants to be able to, to function the best possible way. And so whether it's a 3D insole um, or a custom insole, or elements of the shoe that you select being 3D printed to make it a better fit for you. Who's the, the field partner to roll this out? Who's so in the podiatry world or sports medicine world, there's a company in Toronto named Go4D. They're implementing in clinics and doctor's offices orthotics uh, for the orthotics practice uh, right now. Is that available in America, North, all North America? Yes. So they started in Canada. They're rolling it out in the U.S. now. They're taking it one step at a time. Yes. So let's.